Hi guys, my name is Boston from Boston Reads Everything. Today we are going to be reading our science encyclopedia about magnets. Mysterious magnetism. Hold a magnet near a refrigerator door. You can feel it being pulled towards the door. If you let go, the magnet sticks to the door, yet it does not stick to a plastic beaker. A glass window or a piece of wood, the invisible force of mag magnetism remains mysterious, even though people have known about for it for more than 2,000 years. Magnetism seems to be something to do with groups of atoms called domains. In non-magnetic materials, the domains point in all directions and cancel each other out. And in magnetic materials, all the domains point in one direction and their magnetic force add up. Magnets attract mainly furious materials, those containing iron. Magnetic fields. Every magnet is surrounded by an invisible magnetic field, which is the space in which the force of its magnetism works. A pattern of imaginary lines provides the picture of this magnetic field. These lines of force show that the, that the magnet field is strong, closest to the magnet, but becomes weaker further away. The power of a magnet is stronger at two points called the poles, which are usually near the ends of a bar-shaped magnet. There are two poles, called the North and the South Pole. They are named after the poles of the Earth, which are magnet. They're, they are named after the poles of the Earth to which they are attracted. Unlike poles attract, like poles repel. Finding the way. A compass needle points to the magnetic North Pole and the magnetic South Pole of the Earth. This is because the compass needle is small. Then magnet and the Earth is a giant magnet. So the needle lines up with the Earth's magnetic field. The needle in a compass is balanced on a fine point so that, so that it can turn easily. The magnetic North Pole is about 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers away from the true North Pole. The magnetic South Pole is about 1,500 miles, 2,400 kilometers away from the true South Pole. These magnetic poles move slightly each year, and the strength of the Earth's magnetism changes slowly over long periods of time. South Pole Blue, North Pole Red, Magnetic Animals. Ships and boats use magnetic compasses to help them navigate across the featureless ocean. Certain animals such as whales, dolphins, and sea turtles and birds such as penguins, swallow geese, and storks also seem to use Earth magnetic field to help them navigate on long journeys. Scientists are not sure how these animals could detect the magnetism. It could be connected with tiny particles of iron containing minerals inside or near the brain, which may form a living compass. Science Discovery Charles Column, 1736 through to 1806, was an army engineer who turned into the physical turned to the physical sciences in 1791. He studied the attraction and repulsion forces product produced by magnets and by objects with electros electrostatic charge. He invented a torsion balance based on twisting a piece of stiff wire that could measure tiny forces accurately. He used, he used this development 
his he used this to his to develop it, his law, which showed that magnetic forces fade rapidly by the square of the distance between the magnet objects. Magnet shapes. Magnets can be made in different shapes. Bar magnets are long and narrow, while horseshoe magnets are curved like the metal shoes on a horse's hooves. Magnets can also be made in rings or thin cylinder cylinders like pencils. A ring magnet can have one pole around inside of the ring and the other on the outside I will um let you look at my magnets real quick these are neodymium these are really strong magnets they have a really big force and if your hands are sweating right now I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to force them together let's see you can see that invisible force now they stick because the North Pole is with the South Pole. Let's try North Pole with North Pole. It doesn't stick. So it's like the North Pole, red. The North Pole is with the South Pole. South Pole and North Pole. So the North Pole is with the South Pole. I'm not sure if you can see that. But the North Pole is red and the South Pole is blue. So if we have North Pole pointing with North Pole, they will um, repel. I'm going to be solving my Rubik's Cube in a couple of seconds. But so this is the South Pole and this is the North Pole. And they attract because they're opposite poles. I will be solving my Rubik's Cube right now. This one actually has magnets. So I'm about to solve it in three, two, one. Yep, now it's off.